This is hydrogen tap. If you look at my new power line monitor, you're seeing what the power company is shooting out to the houses here in Virginia. That's because of the air conditioning. Like I said before, you cannot store the power, so what they're doing is they're forcing it down the pipeline, so to speak. And you can see we're way over 120 volts coming over here. So if you don't have any surge protectors or anything on your lines, you are really asking for trouble. <clears throat> Without a variable power supply, you really have problems. What I'm getting ready to do here is set up a new experiment the same as before, only I'm going to be pulsing the DC through the cell. I'm getting a lot of confusing email, or people are getting confused. The two plates that I have here that are 16th inch apart, that is not the focus cell. I repeat, that is not the focus. If you go to hydrogentap.com, you'll see the focus cell. It has 11 plates. What I'm doing here is strictly experiments to see what kind of hydrogen, hydrogen can be produced using the Myers ideas and the water here that you will be looking at is distilled water so we're talking about a uh, space between the plates no electrolyte one other thing I want you to remember is that when I'm giving you a reading on the voltage that I'm calling out, it's with a uh, digital meter. Digital meters are known for giving false readings, especially when it's being pulsed in some way or other. The difference between the reading here 120 volts actually over 120 volts AC in the output is that this 120 is actually an average rating and you can see it going back and forth if that was a digital you'd be seeing the high end or the low end you wouldn't know which what I'm doing now is starting my pulse circuit at uh, 1 hertz 1.314 and we're running at uh, I'm going to bring it at to 46 volts and of course it's not going to give us anything but what I'm going to do is start bringing the pulse system up and see what goes on here I'm at 133 hertz and as you can see we're still not getting anything and the voltage is 46 I'm going to bring that voltage up higher 53 50 I'm reading DC now 61 63 69 70 79 I'm at 80 volts DC pulsed at 132 Hertz we're in the kilohertz section 1.239 we're pulsing uh, 80 volts and I'm going to bring it up Ninety-nine, 100 volts we're looking at DC being pulsed and I'm going to start varying the frequency here move away for a minute Okay, we're back again. Yeah, let's take another look at this. So what I'm looking at here is a pulse uh, one kilohertz, a little over kilohertz, 
running at a hundred about a hundred volts DC remember this is not AC I got a variac going through a bridge and we're using distilled water here if there was going to be any action I would see it now I know so please don't email me telling me that this is not the way Myers did it there's a lot more to Myers information what I'm doing is like I do everything I take it apart put it together piece by piece that's what we're doing here I'm going to turn the voltage up to 109, 12, 13, 115 much equipment here it's all beeping at the same time uh, okay so we're at 100 and Yeah, something's ringing. I don't know. Another phone. Anyway, we've got a hundred and not stuttering. I just and I've had so many interruptions here, but we're running uh, 115 volts through the two plates at uh, 1.236 kilohertz and uh, I'm going to vary the scale a little bit but uh, the main th trick was just to see if I'm getting any thing at all I realized that uh, I'm going to have to bring the voltage way up and I'm going to be operating over 500 volts pretty soon. I just got to get my transformers in order. Their, their voltage. What I've done is I'm tapping off the uh, the bridge which is giving me the voltage DC so I'm not running AC through the cell. And uh, I've got a lot of questions about the Variac and using it with the Meyer system. Remember this is just varying the AC voltage. I'm taking it from here and going to a bridge and the bridge irons it out to DC so we got a, a way of varying this varies the voltage thanks to my friend this is varying the AC voltage and actually you can see here how that's working here. I'm varying it back. See if I can get a better picture of it for you. Okay. As you can see, I'm varying the AC voltage into the bridge. We're now at 84 volts, 85, and that's what I'm doing to the cell. So I can bring this all the way back, and the lowest it'll go is 13 volts. So I've got 13 volts AC going to a bridge which is uh, which is giving me the DC out so you can see how it works and the highest I can go on this it's 122 volts AC, DC out which means I'm getting that on the AC side and there's my uh, trusty frequency generator and that's putting that frequency through a system that is pulsing the voltage at that frequency which is 1.237 and I said kilohertz it's not kilohertz it's hertz so it's 1.237 hertz, not kilohertz. I'm just rushing things a little bit. I better watch out. So please do not write me. I did correct that. It's 1.237 hertz. Got a lot of work to do here in the lab and uh, a lot of cells to build as well. 
One thing I want to make sure everyone understands, these cells are designed for the lab. Use them at your own risk. Please do not use them in any, on any engine that you value. I have no idea whatsoever what it will do to that. I'm using it on my Honda right now because I cannot afford these gas prices.